Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Tom Balter. I'm with the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics here. Um, uh, if you uh, happened to be here last year, I was uh, also afforded the opportunity to talk a little bit about, uh, about LASP, about uh, the data systems group that uh, I'm a part of, and about the LASP web team that, uh, that I lead that is uh, doing a lot of work in the area of uh, providing access to disparate data sources through uh, a model that, uh, that we've developed uh, over about a decade's worth of work uh, to provide access, uh, you know, a simplified, unified access to disparate data sources. And um, what, this is, uh, what this has afforded us the opportunity to do is to get involved with uh, the Space Weather Trek initiative uh, by proposing to develop a space weather portal uh, that would provide researchers with access to disparate data sources from wherever they happen to be housed. Uh, that could be, uh, you know, at, at JPL, at uh, the USGS, uh, uh, um, uh, locally here at LASP, uh, our data sets. Uh, internationally, we acquire data sets. And um, by providing a, a singular model and a set of library and, and services, web services, uh, to provide that access in a unified way, we're able to create front-end capabilities to visualize and download those data sets for researchers to be able to access. Um, so what we've been able to do actually in a, in a pretty short period of time because of that infrastructure that we've developed uh, is to create a prototype of a space weather portal that uh, uh, provides access to uh, quite a number of data sets. We began the work uh, in July of last year. Uh, we had a, a story mapping exercise that the team uses an agile scrum methodology for doing our development work and we really try to involve uh, the end users and, and uh, subject matter area experts uh, uh, right from the from the get-go and include them in uh, the actual development of of the tools and so in that period of time we've been able to create a prototype uh, that uh, at this point I believe has 78 uh, different data sets uh, ranging from uh, solar data sets uh, that uh, come from uh, NASA from uh, LASP uh, to uh, data sets that uh, are more in the uh, mesos uh, mesosphere, ionosphere, and thermosphere that uh, are provided by uh, our colleague here, Eric, uh, to um, uh, also solar data sets provided by SDO. Just most recently, we've added in these, uh, let's see if I can figure out the pointer, here it is. Uh, we've added in uh, uh, SDO AIA imagery and HMI imagery. Uh, this is a this is the most recent uh, data set that we've uh, been able to put into a into a time series view. And uh, using all of these data sets together in the portal, we're able to create the sun to mud story that uh, Tom Berger was talking about earlier. So uh, when a when a user uh, comes in, a researcher comes in and, and wants to work with uh, the portal, they'll They'll select a time frame, and we provide uh, markers to indicate uh, known events that have occurred. Uh, in this case, we're looking at the St. Patrick's Day event of uh, 2015. And uh, the end user is able to sort of select a time frame of uh, data that they're interested in. And, uh, and you know, actually, when they're, when they're selecting the time frame, it, it shows the entirety of uh, available data, which right now runs from 1978 to current day. Um, but uh, with that, they can kind of scale down and, and drill down to the to the time of interest that they're that they're looking at the event of interest, and with that, they will then see the data sets that we currently have available. Once they've got those, they can go ahead and start plotting them. And, and what we can see here is that uh, we tell the the sun to mud story with uh, Eve data. Uh, the the spike here in uh, Eve diode data shows the event uh, occurring on the sun. Uh, and at the same time, you, you go ahead and grab that marker of time and look at the image from SDO, we can see that, in fact, yeah, there, there's an event that it, that's occurring that is uh, sending, sending stuff our way. Uh, then we uh, go ahead and, and roll forward in time a little bit and start looking at the ACE data. ACE is a spacecraft that NASA has. It's uh, parked in the L1 Lagrangian point. Uh, about a million miles from Earth, and it receives uh, solar wind information as well as uh, uh, charged particle information, and we see a big uptick in, in charged particles. 
Well, so now what happens when it actually gets to the Earth? Uh, we obtain data from uh, our USGS partners, and we can see that uh, here at, uh, I believe this is a South African uh, station, they run magnetometers all around uh, planet Earth, uh, that, wow, there's, a, there's definitely a decided impact on the pattern of uh, um, what the magnetometer is registering. So using all of this, adding more data sets to the, to the Space Weather Portal, we intend to, to provide a tool for researchers to be able to get a hold of the data sets that they need in a nice unified way with a programmatic API if they'd like. Of course, we're using the programmatic API to provide this front end or to just go ahead and, and download the data. We provide capability to download either individual plots or, or collection and then work with that data locally if that's what they would like to do. So that's kind of my story. I'm sticking by it, and uh, thank you very much for your time.